Money, cash, moolah. They say that money is power, and today we're gonna prove just that by playing as a pacifist in Bannerlord to see if it's possible to play a game all about fighting with armies without actually fighting. Here are the rules. One, I cannot fight and must surrender immediately if confronted. Two, I cannot hire any troops. Aside from that, I can lie, cheat, and swindle in order to stay alive. I just can't use violence. What, I said a pacifist run, not a saint run. If you're looking to make some moolah for yourself, I can guarantee stacks of denars monthly for my super secret course. All you have to do to sign up is like the video and subscribe right now. That counts as a one-side legally binding contract, denars not guaranteed. Right, let's get into the video. I need to pick our character very carefully, otherwise it's gonna be very tricky. The Asurai, caravans are 30% cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty. Sounds good to me, let's do that. All right, we have our man here. Now, who is a super rich man in history? I mean, Mansa Musa, right? I don't know what Mansa Musa looks like. So, uh... I think instead we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna randomize like five times. This is gonna be our guy. One, two, three, four, five. You sound good. So obviously we want the trade ability as much as possible. So urban merchant seems to be a good idea. Let's grab that. I mean, aptitude for numbers, that makes sense. In the markets, sounds good. And I don't think any of these are gonna do anything to a trade. Yeah, I don't think I want uh, anything to do with engineering. Marching with the camp followers, probably a good idea. The rest of stuff is just pure combat, which is really not gonna matter given what we're trying to do. Hmm, count followers. Investing money in a workshop. Oh, dude, we're gonna max out this trade. This is this is good. Organizing them to break out gives us another leadership and some charm. Useful. There we go. Alright, even though he looks nothing like him, we're going for Mansa Musa. Wait, first name. So probably Mansa and then last name Musa. That works. It's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. Did you just change race right in front of me? Alright, we don't need to train where we're going. Straight to the bank. Alright, let's get out of here. Family name, Musa. You know what? We'll yell it as well. Just like Mansa. Musa! Like that. <laughs> That's the stupidest. Right, anything here representing money, the capital, coinage, <laughs> some dude's face. I don't think there's anything money. If there's no money related things, I will, I will just pick this man's face. That kind of looks like coins. Now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have some dude's face. All right, sure, massive dude's face. All right, and here we go. Here's my thinking. Right. Obviously, we want the trade tree because right at the end, you can trade settlements, which is our ultimate goal, our aim. And then all this stuff is going to be helping with that. Here's the issue we're going to face. In terms of clan tier, which you need to be able to like actually own land and that sort of stuff, uh, you usually get that through fighting. We're not fighting, so we need to figure out how we are going to be doing this. Now, there is the idea of like renown and influence for each issue resolved, so like doing quests and stuff, but I don't want to do quests. <laughs> I don't like quests. This is useless to us because we're not going to be in fighting at all. We're going to surrender immediately. If we ever get caught, we're surrendering. So more likely to have children, I suppose. And here we get selling trade goods and your profits are marked. Selling equipment. I think trade goods. Put all of our focus points in trade. Get that up as soon as possible. Yeah, quests I'm not really going to be fussed about. Who am I? Why am I over here? I kind of want to get to my people. We are going to have an issue and those issues are going to be bandits because we only have one guy. And I don't really want to be hiring any troops. Whether I'll be able to stick to that, we shall see. But for right now, I don't want to be hiring any troops at all. So no troops, no weapons, just me. Ah! Okay, that, that's 49 looters, man. Okay, let's just go around them. We're good, we're good. We're fine, we're safe, we're okay. We're, we get, we're getting there. We get caught in the first thing. I'm, 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 putting, I'm not playing this. This video, you'll never see this video. All right, let's cross over here. A large, like, rock, that. Okay, all right, we've made it to our first city. First thing we need to do, sell our weapons. I'm tempted to sell my clothes as well. That is gonna give us 446. So we have a, some starting capital. This is the initial investment. Like I said, I've uh, I've done a degree, or I'm currently doing, I don't wanna jinx it, a degree in business. I'm a businessman. And so uh, this is <laughs> this is gonna uniquely suit me to training in panel. Why? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> this degree cost me thousands, and this is what I'm using it for. Right, so here we can see what different villages and stuff produce. Uh, if I go on the trading thing, I go for trade goods. Item is 87% more expensive. So I wanna be looking for things like this. Like wool is 125% cheaper than average. We're gonna buy a bunch of wool. We're also gonna need some mules so we can carry this stuff. But that's fine for now. I actually need a pen and paper. <laughs> I can't believe I'm taking notes this. Right, I've got my notes on my consulting module that I don't think I'm ever gonna use. I'm gonna write on the back of those. Actually, that's a terrible idea. I've got an exam coming up. <laughs> Let me find a pen and paper. Okay, so. Wool, wool for 80. Where would, like, where doesn't doesn't have wool? Give it a a go. It'll take us a while to, a while to get there, because we are massively over our capacity. It's a bit of a test run. I think we bought it for 80. All right, we need to get a mule anyway. Later on, I want to start, like, actually affecting supply and demand, because I can really mess with people's livelihoods here. Fix it. But for now, where doesn't produce wool? We have some horses there. We have some horses there, some olives, little horses. I don't see any, I don't see any wool nearby. How have you got cheaper wool? 
Maybe, oh wait, you have, you probably had it expensive. You probably don't produce anymore. This is not a good first trade. I, I, I came in super cocky. Okay, let's go in here. We'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what the trades are here. A bit better, 77. You're selling it for 92, so it is more expensive here. Trade rumors can sell at Ortizia for 9695. Okay, I'm gonna gamble everything in this pottery. Okay, we're gonna be bankrupt if this doesn't work. Where's Ortizia? How far away is? Okay, it's very close by. This should be fine because we've been there, right? So now because we visited Jalmaris, we should know about the trade. Uh, room is there. We're relying heavily on our uh, on our skill. Uh, 46 debt hunts. This doesn't come through. It's over for us. Yeah, okay, nice. We made the trade, get the 1300. Bada bing, bada boom. We're still worse off than when we started, but it's progress. Still look great for 70. That, that, this is gonna be a good purchase. Right, we're gonna buy a bunch of silver and iron ore. Literally going to the extremes here. If we get robbed once, it's this, it's over. Welcome to the grind, ladies and gentlemen. So I need to get 10k. 10k is where I can get a, uh, a caravan, start securing that passive income. That's right, I've been taking several courses from individuals who are telling me that I could be making 60k a month with just a Gmail account and a few hours of work. And they tell me a caravan is the way forward. <laughs> caravan Rodan the silversmith, man. I had to pay for his online course, but now... I'm misogynist. <laughs> well, actually, that was a joke. All right, silver ore seems to be selling quite nicely. There we go. And we level up. Now, we do need to secure ourselves a wife. Not because we have um, any sort of plans about starting a family, but because our wife can lead caravans for us. I think I'm going to bounce between Ortizia and this place a lot. There's also the percentage markup that, I, that we need to look at. Okay, you're just going to be skipping this part, really, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know I'm talking about percentage markups here. I've got a calculator and a, and a bloody notebook next to me. I'm glad I'm not doing a face cam for this video because this is sad. Also, you do want to pay, pay attention to this. Uh, you can see these purchasing iron. Anyone who's selling stuff there, you can sort of pick up on their tips. So this guy, the silversmith, has been making bank. The issue is that if I do this too many times, it's going to basically uh, change the price of silver and iron ore uh, to make it no longer profitable because, well, we've just we are the trade route between the two. Right now, there isn't one. That's why it's profitable for us. So uh, I've overloaded so much with, uh, with stuff. This is the highest speed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It's just, Mansa is absolutely massive. He's carrying this all himself. So our, our speed is the lowest it could possibly be. God damn it. <laughs> oh no, I got caught right at the end. All right, well, it's worth spending the dead hours in the ore. Ah! That's going to cut into our profits. That's all part of it. Like you said, I don't really want to be hiring troops. It's against the pacifist sort of motto, isn't it? The downside to traveling slowly. I thought this area was safe. Well, anyway. Now we have 4,000. We quadrupled our money. I have um, another idea as well, right? So I've been currently like pursuing a high quality uh, or high uh, amount. If I'm going to be like saddled either way, grain doesn't change its price, right? So here's my thinking. If I purchase a ton of grain and there's a five markup difference, if I'm buying, let's say 100, for every 100 grain, there's a five markup difference. I'm making 500 denars each, like each way. You multiply that by any more of a markup, even if it's a difference of one denar, then we're making absolute tons. So fish, for example, better example. That's that's way better. It's we're gonna make a 20 profit on like 150, roughly. It'll be about 3,000 denars. 16. All right, let's do it. Also, each time we do that, it gives us loads of skill in trade. Plus 30% carry capacity or minus 50% cost of bartering for safe passage. This carry passive for my party isn't gonna matter if I'm pursuing this like ridiculously slow uh, method of travel. And then I think we just mark up any losses as a uh, as a business cost. So last time we spent 100, I'm writing all this down, that's why I'm just, mm -hmm. I spent 110 denars and two silver ore, which I think was valued at, well, if we value it at the buying price, I think of 83. So it actually wasn't that bad. We only lost about 300 denars for a trip that made us about 3,000. Can't wait to see the retention stats on this. Now, provided we got, don't get jumped right now, we should be okay. I think after this one, I'm gonna visit a couple more cities to see if I can uh, maximize the amount of trade. Because if we can start, because right now we're going Ortizia to Kuwait, right? If I can add in like Jalmaris, Zionica, and also, mm, that's a bit far, but Jalmaris, Zionica, maybe Rotai, we bounce between these like uh, five, and that should do us quite nicely. All right, here we go. Bear in mind, this is quite a high risk trade, because if I'm wrong on any of these counts, uh, it's over for us. All right, 7,000. Nice, we're getting there. Can't so nice actually be able to travel. This is actually a lot closer. Okay, that's a good trade. That's also double. I'm going to go back to Ortizio after this. Anything that's like double, we're doing. That is efficient. We've only got two left over. As our trade skill increases, so do to the deals. Oh my god, that's what's happening with my degree. That's what I got told anyway. When I look at the market, I look at stocks and shares. Some things, they just shine a bright green. And so I invest and then I immediately lose all of my money. <laughs> uh, 
I have so many student loans. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's fine. We don't we don't look at that. They sent another letter, but you don't need to know. That's fine. Oh God. Even Mansa looks like he's crying. Why are his eyes so red? Um, or even even you've been smoking something? <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> is, it, is it legal in Cal Radio? I don't I don't know. Dude, caravans run as fast as they can. Oh. Oh, okay, two denars and a workhorse. Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, hang on, another group come in. 160 denars there. It's an expensive time, I need to get out into the open. There's another group of bandits right there. All right, I've been doing this a little while, so I've got 14K. Uh, my general plan as well is to keep uh, money on me. I have had to start from the start a couple of times uh, because I've been caught a couple of times. Protect me, I paid you! So it's a pretty good strategy, but uh, yeah, I think it's time we try and secure ourselves our first caravan. For that, we're gonna need ourselves a companion to run our, uh, our ventures for us. All right, let us secure ourselves a hero. All right, we've got anyone here? Leap Master Mason's game host. I'm not gambling. I feel like that'd be a really bad way to make money. No, no one here? Oh, um, I didn't think that would actually work. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, I just attacked a cow. What's the matter? You, why the long? I'm not, I'm not gonna make that joke. Oh God. I wish to form a caravan. It's gonna take us. 10,500, which we can. Um, so now we need to find a companion and we'll get it done. I wanted to double check, make sure my maths was right. Then we've got about 5,000 free capital. But that doesn't mean we're just gonna be making profit from the start. Caravans are like, they, they don't work like that. Casually carrying 15K in my pocket. This is not a good idea. Anyone hurt? Any heroes at all? You're an outrider, I don't need you. There's an easy way to do this, isn't there? There's. I've never actually looked upstairs. Oh, um, I guess. <laughs> What's up? I'm very wealthy. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see it up here, can't I? If someone's there or not. I'm probably running to, from town to town. I should be trading. This feels like wasted time. Buttermilk and nid. <laughs> nice. Ah, wonderful. Enjoy that. I reckon I can sneak around them. There you go. I just wasn't paying attention. That's a costly one. 526. He doesn't have any particular skills, but I'd rather get it going. So that's good. I do want to hire a caravan over here in Cuyas, though. I, I like that being my, my base. Hopefully this guy's not slugged. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Caravans uh, are riskier investments than workshops. Workshops are creating passive income. Caravans uh, need to build up a bit of a reserve. How do I know this about caravans? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you may not know this, but I was once the resident authority on caravans. I made uh, a, a caravan guide three years ago, back when no one watched the videos. I mean, look at that thumbnail. The comments were all great. Thank you for making a quick video, not some ten. Uh, don't look at the time left in this video, please. <laughs> but I, uh, I actually went through an Excel spreadsheet because at this time, no one knew. No one knew how they worked. <laughs> they did. The game was kind of new, and so no one really understood them. So I'm going to be going off of... Um, my part is party starving. I, that's fine. Um, I'm going to be going off of what I knew three years ago. I know the game's been updated since then. Uh, but that, that doesn't matter to me. Alright, let's have a chat to the cargo master. It's not been that long, it's been like a day. There you go, third of the hills. He's not the greatest, but I want him to get going. Now, the caravan needs to, uh, cr you know, generate some cash, uh, first. So he's, he's gonna be off. Let me go chat to him. God, he's, he's a bit nippy. So he's gonna go and travel from place to place to place. The first, like, let me check. Uh, that's a recent test. The first, like, 20 days, we won't be making too much of a profit, and then after that, we should. I think I had the, the time... I'm just looking at my own video now. <laughs> Here we go. Some time frames. So, you're gonna lose... I'm gonna lose about 3,000. Uh, so, 300 a day. So, I need to make sure I can actually afford that. Otherwise, uh, this isn't gonna go too well. So, I need to beat him to the next town. And I always need, I need to constantly... Oh, what? You, how did you... You made money already? How? <laughs> did they change it that much? <laughs> the stupid logo. Well, see, we need to actually have some grain on us. Otherwise, our... Wait, your party's starving. It's just me. This man has not missed many meals before. He can, he can get away with it. All right, we'll have some grain. But I think we're going to have to rinse and repeat, grab another caravan. But for that, we need uh, a higher bit of renown. But for now... Oh, God, I've broken my rule again. All right, let's hope we don't get attacked on the way. This is more of a safe route. Like, this is, was a tricky one. I got caught a lot on this road. This down here has generally been a safe one, if a little bit longer. Yeah, it's a big trade, but I can sell it at... Oh, God, that's so far away. I didn't know it was that far away. Oh my god, we have no money to pay for- Oh no! We have no money to pay for a, um, a ransom. Okay, uh, I've got to hope that my caravan makes money. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How does he get the money to me? Can he like, can he PayPal it? Okay, that, that might be enough to, for, for us to, to make some money. That's so far away, man. Well, buckle up, lads. You're about to see an individual travel across this in double time. Well, probably like 10 times. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> I went to the bathroom to come back. We're only halfway there, but our um, our caravan's doing quite nicely. Nice. Oh, he's... <laughs> I, for a second, I, I, I really thought for a second that our own caravan had attacked me. <laughs> he went rogue. 155 denars. Carrying our day. By the time we get there, the price is going to change. Like, these... Okay, so for these long-distance, tra like, travels, what I'll usually do is go for high-value goods like jewelry that are really uh, small, that aren't, you know, ridiculous. Uh, I would not have done this. Last little bit, buddy. I did. I mean, you talked to me like that. In that voice? Hey, <laughs> take my gold. Oh, we were so close. Oh, hang on. Here's another lot. Oh, same guys I paid off earlier. <laughs> we're good. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, I'm gonna lose money on this bloody trade. <laughs> I did lose money. <laughs> no. Oh, for God's sake. So eighteen thousand for a silversmith. I, I, I'm happy to take a silversmith in this area. Uh, although it's very far away. All right. Do you have any like small jewelry and stuff I could give to my guys over in Kuwait? Purchase the jewelry. No, not today, buddies. I think I already paid those ones. I don't think I already paid those ones as well. Just constant payments. Ugh. It's so much easier for just hired troops, but that doesn't feel very pacifist to me. All right, we're gonna... I don't want to talk to the oil presser. I really don't. We have another 14k. Let's see what that'll get us. All right, we've got another caravan. Weirdly enough, the, set, the, uh, the second caravan, like, to create that, like, wealth took me longer than the first. I, I was heavily costed by bandits. Minus 15 selling price while selling animals or buying from villages. Well, we'll just start going from villages because I think here's the issue, right, that I'm running into. It takes me so long to travel anywhere that it becomes like not worth it anymore. Oh, there's, there's the butcher. Goodbye. I can track you on the map. I don't know where the other one is. I probably picked the worst possible companions for this. Got a six trade skill. Uh, I kind of just got what I could get. <laughs> Yeah, these little trades and emptying the villages are not going to be worth that much. I want to start working towards a workshop now. We've got two caravans, which are a bit riskier, that will take time to generate more profit. That's why I'm investing in them early. Now we just need to get this daily uh, gold change up. Because it's going to become less and less effective for us to secure the amounts that we need for me to do it personally. That's the concern. Who the hell is sieging that? Oh, no. That's not good. Who's sieging you? That's a thousand men. Oh, this is going to ruin our supply lines. Oh, no. So, uh, I was looking to potentially buy myself a workshop, and then this happened, and I, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, are they gonna win, or are you gonna defend this at all, buddy? No? Yes? Maybe? I'm gonna sort of stand there and stare. Oh, this would be a close fight. The forest people have turned up as well. Long-ass siege. Oh, getting chased away by another 1,100. Well, I was hoping the siege would be done by now. All right, well, I'll, this is clearly not a good place to have a workshop. We'll go to Ortizia. We'll be back soon. Pretty sure this butcher guy's been a net loss. <laughs> He's not really, like, <laughs> giving me too much capital. Oh, it's there are. Hello. Jesus! All right, so this wine press is 2,900. Christ. <laughs> Okay, well, there that one goes. All right, just a little dregs now. Then we can purchase our first workshop. Uh, we currently have three companions running around. I didn't try particularly hard to find the best companions for this. Uh, I remember back in my day, the companions didn't really matter. I think now they might do, because, um, you know, individual skills and such. So I may have messed that up, particularly with the butcher. He has, like, six trading skill. That's fine. So we just got our clan tier up, which is very, very difficult when you're not fighting. Because how you get renowned is to, through fighting and, and, well, missions. I'm, I'm tempted to do the mission side of things. But in the meantime, the butchers and others are leveling up. So any trade goods, 15% cost reduction in price. So I'll secure more profit. Also, uh, in this region, I've been uh, traveling it so often that I'm pretty sure I've paid off every single uh, bandit that exists. Oh, no. That's a lot of the stuff that I have on me. That might be enough. Oh, this is gonna be everything I have. Oh, I need another, like, 500 or 200. Okay. And then I'm not gonna have anything. So, I don't know. Maybe I should go for something a bit cheaper. 29,000 seems like a lot. I, I was used to being, like, 10,000. God. All right, here we go. I want to buy a smithy. There we go. Now, I think, because we only have 400. <laughs> oh, no, we only have 40 10 hours. Um, Let's see if we can do something about, like, with some missions. Uh, army poachers, that's not going to help us. Are you no longer under siege? Okay, cool. Because Ortizia, I've never seen get uh, done in. I figure it's a good place. Work should become 15. I'll scale up soon. Oh, not enough troops to the task. Well, I am a pacifist, so there are very few quests that I could do. Just run from major city to major city. It's such a common occurrence at this point. <laughs> He'll know me by name. I think I'm single-handedly propping up the bandit economy. Rival gang moving in. That's not very pacifist of me, so can't be doing that. Snare the wealthy. What does that do? Please? Christ. All right. <laughs> Since everyone, <laughs> everyone keeps on telling me I'm not good enough. Extortion by deserters. Again, like, maybe I can um, solve a familial dispute. I, I'm a good judge. I'm a good judge of character. 
I could read a book. I could teach you some languages, maybe. I, I just, I'm not so good at the whole fighting thing. Ah, here we go. There's something I could do. Overpriced raw materials at Hubya. You want me to collect five iron ore? Bird sells iron ore. Usually Iyakis does. Whilst my caravans and my uh, workshop start creating cash for me to purchase another one, I think I'll just try and get my renown up so then I can get more caravans because we are limited by now. Okay, ore. It's only two. Ah, Christ. Now I'm going to have to walk around. How quick my guys are in comparison to me. Oh, great. And he's immediately attacked by raiders. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any iron ore, do you? Pick iron ores all the way over here. Begin our odyssey. Yeah, I, well, you picked me at a good time. <sighs> it's all part of the cost of doing business. Honestly, we'd make so much more money for the local economy if the kings would just, the sultan would, uh, you know, protect the roads. Pax Mongolica, all that. Although this might be his way of stimulating the local economy. Maybe that's what we should do in real life. We just give all the <laughs> bandits money. Uh, for free and then hopefully they spend that in the local economy to stimulate it. It's genius. Got silver ore but not iron ore? Oh, you do have iron ore. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't care. Let's get eight. Why not? So far. Hear the montage. It's a long time. Hello, friend. I bring you five loads of iron. Just needed to hear that sound. Don't think it was... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I did all of that for 600. I'm pretty sure I lost money on the train. Okay, well, we'll just get rid of my iron. Okay, so here's the thing. We have reached the amount of uh, workshops and also this lot that we can do. So aside from me spamming out our uh, well existing trades, we're going to try something a little bit different. We are going to start smithing stuff. Never done this before. Like, actually never done this before. So I, I, don't, I don't know how to how to do this, but we're gonna- we're gonna do it anyway. So we're gonna buy a bunch of raw material. We'll buy some silver ore. Wait, you're- you're not subscribed? Well, I think I found your mother. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna wield her! <laughs> Jesus Christ, why is this so expensive? <laughs> we're gonna refine all of this. We have charcoal now. So now we need- we need iron ore. It'll be a long journey. Right, let's hope we can actually get some bloody iron here. So long to travel. All right, please tell me about iron ore. Oh, you do. Loads of it. Sweet. Hardwood as well. And this is now our new cycle. We have to rest for a while until we can do it again. We've got to wait a day. All right, so I can create some crude iron. That will make raw iron. And it's so blazed. There's another thing where I can buy, uh, like, these cheap little daggers and such, and then I can break them down myself. Okay, uh, it's been a long time. It's been several hours, <laughs> and I've legit just been smithing. <laughs> Quite a high smithing skill now. I've been doing orders and that sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I've been doing in my day. Oh my god. Oh, it's too funny. So this has been what I've been doing. Then I rest for a while. Uh, but I want to sell all of my goods. Because actually for a while now, I haven't actually been selling my, my goods. So I want to go ahead and do that. So you can see like the, the sheer amount of money that we're actually holding. They have, they'll have enough for all my stuff, I'm sure. So yeah, this is actually quite a viable way. To make cash, the only thing that limits me is, or has been, the hardwood. Um, so I've actually been traveling around getting a bunch of hardwood, then, well, smithing. It feels weird to explain to people this is, this is my job. <gasps> oh, that changes a lot of things. That changes a lot of things. Okay, uh, I can't carry all of this. Um, I have to sell, oh, I don't want to sell it all. It's been, it took so long to like, to create all this stuff. Please just be a, uh, a guy here that I can hire. The spice vendor as well! Oh, that's good. I mean, she's blazed out of her mind. Don't care about your story. Right, we need to set up another caravan. Uh, I've already got one here. Uh, let's go to Karas. I kind of want to get a... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll go to Karas. I want to get another workshop as well. Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> this, is, this is my job. <laughs> I went to uni. I'm on my third degree. Oh, two master's degree and a bachelor's degree <laughs> for this. I've lost my mind. It's legit been so many hours of grinding for fake cash in a video game. <laughs> oh, I haven't shown you my, like, traits. Um, well, the, the most important thing with the Renown is that there's one that uh, gives you Renown for uh, your caravans. And so that's how I've actually been able to level up our Renown. Because uh, I did a bunch of um, quests, but they're just not that great. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should probably show what the world looks like. Uh, yeah, Rebels and such are a thing. The Britannians are basically gone, mainly because they've got these, like, rebels uh, that are taken over. We've also spent a lot of money uh, in, in terms of ransoms and such. But most of our money, honestly, has come from smithing. I really underrated that uh, as a 
uh, as a source of income. Because anything you craft is worth a decent chunk of change. And, uh, well, it's been it's been quite useful. Because also what I'll do is I'll buy material. I, I like how it explains I'm I'm it explains to you, to you to justify the time I spent. As we very slow. Look at this real time. This is what I've been waiting for. It's not like I can tab out and do anything else. Watch what happens when I tab out. I've legit been staring at the screen whilst this is happening. Anyway, you can buy these weapons and then uh, smelt them down, which gives you access to more um, uh, pieces. Uh, and like and various weapon parts that then you can create and like you saw I can use no, please not again 2000 that's fine literally nothing very slowly, but I have stuck to not hiring a single troop So there's that I want to form a caravan. Oh more expensive caravan. I want to buy your oil press Grab another guy and let's move on. I don't want to enter the smithy just for all time's sake. I'm obsessed with it. Just how I made my money. Cheeky little two-handed sword. That's ah, worth 1500. All right. I want to form a caravan. Uh, give me the good one. Chuck that guy in there. And we move on to the next place. I've actually been able to invest a lot of our money this time. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's get him tracked on the map. All right. Someone else. Yeah, just take a thousand, man. Just shut up and just leave. Right. I'm going to start making... What is now the super long journey? You know what? Let's just sell all our resources. Like, we, we don't need them at this point. I've made my money through the smithing. If I need them again, I'll just buy more stuff and then forge them. Especially the hardwood, man. I had to travel so far for that. I think I leveled up my trade skill based off of that alone. We have tripled and sometimes quadrupled our daily income, though. I last seen at Hussein Fulk. Oh, of course, he's in the easternmost one. Ah, oh, Christ, right? Off we pop. 831. Bro, you're, you're kind of cheap, you know. <laughs> Okay, I should, I should. A lot nicer traveling this way, though. Although we have gone under 100,000 for the first time. Naturally, I mean. So just investing it. And there we go. We're fine again. <laughs> right, where's the king? Go chat to him. Right, so we can actually swear homage in to this guy because of our renown through just money. So, sure. All right, awesome. And he's given us... I don't want that. <laughs> I will take you, though. Hello. It's us! <laughs> <laughs> Given our uh, support. Fortunately, we're not at war with anyone, which is really important because our caravans will go everywhere. This is the issue with declaring ourselves a vassal is because we have workshops all over the joint, over here and over here. Uh, meaning that if we go to war, yeah, bad news bears. Why did I say bad news bears? Increase your deadlines by a hundred, by a thousand. I think we did that. All right, let's talk to the Lord. What's up? I don't have enough good enough troops. Yeah, it's the story of my life, mate. What about you? All right, let's have a look. Your young kingsman owes money. Okay, sure. What are you planning to do? Not inclined to pay the debt. You could pay. Uh, let's go. We're just going to go do that. I'm going to free your kinsman. I'm just going to go and pay for it. Oh, he's in Anira. That's so far away, man. All right. Off we pop. Of course, we are absolutely rapid now. We're not weighed down by, well, you know, the smithy tools and the copious amounts of weaponry that we've created. Honestly, we could arm probably most of Calradia. Wait, is that not really a pacifist thing? I suppose we're not really... I didn't use the weapons, so, I mean, that counts for me. Man's name is Scabby Prackles. That's... He's, well, he's been rinsed at birth, hasn't he? Sure. 1,700. Easy. And we gained 1,616. Perfect. Right, the next thing we need to do is get married. That's that's the next plan, because uh, our wife can secure us another caravan. So he's somewhere over here. Whoa. Got all the way around to get there? Okay, they're clearly around here somewhere. Other one. Ah. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, works for me. Brilliant. You want 36,000 denars for your daughter's hand in marriage. Sweet! We got a wife! <laughs> we made it, lads! The daughter of a king from nothing to something, Mansa Musa. Good job, lad. Uh, thank you. Um, where, where is she? Where's my, where's my wife? She's over here somewhere. Oh, she's so far away. Oh, God, right, let's just let's go find her. Yeah, just take my money, bro. <laughs> they are, I mean, they are hounding me. They know that I'm basically a piggy bank. Don't even have to hit me for money to come out. Oh, Christ. Oh, no, we're good. Dude, we are rapid. 6.2 speed. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say something, man, I open my stupid mouth. Right, I spent 30,000 on a wife. I'd have had about 300,000 at this point, but uh, there was another online course. Uh, this one was trying to teach me how to be uh, an influencer in, um, in Calradia. And I dropped a lot of money on it. So far, the guy uh, isn't responding to my Discord messages, but hopefully... Uh, soon, he's got this NFT collection. Um, I bought into it; it's gonna be great. And then that that'll 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 change everything. Wait, where is she? Where's where's my wife? Did she, did she did she hear us coming and run? What? Last seen here, but she is here. Oh, she is here. Okay, perfect. She's also absent. Why does she look horrified? Let's talk to her first. A proposal that may benefit us both. Do you have anything to give me? No. 
Well, and your only value to me is I want you to join my party, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna send you off somewhere. Uh, let's let's go to Sanala. Let's collect fish and stuff. God, you actually sped me up. I thought you'd slow me down. Nice. So eager to get a caravan going that I'm literally another speed point faster. I think it's because she has a uh, a horse. And I don't. You don't have that really expensive horse. I do. Another 10k. Making our money back. Better troops. She's my wife after all. Send my wife on away. Good lad. Off she goes. I really thought I was safe. Why am I commanding the defenders? Help me! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we could do about discussing with... Okay, he doesn't want gold. Uh, this is bad. I don't know how to get out of this one. I'm not gonna lie, I nipped to the bathroom. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, we did get captured. Hopefully they besiege it back now. I had to refuse to participate in the battle. No, what? It's being besieged. Well, I'm, not, I'm not paying 30k. Oh, I'm the new owner of something. I didn't even realize. Captain, no more use for an aunt in a murderous mood. But, what, bro, what do you mean not in a murderous mood? My wife's actually solid at trading. Do I have a thief? Where is it? Oh, I wasn't allowed to vote because... Oh, I'm clan tier three. I, yeah, I, I left for a little bit. Uh, it looks like two of my caravans uh, are, are dead. We also have no workshops. Um, uh, yeah, so basically what's happened here is I had two workshops here and one here. And it looks like, it looks like my boys are losing. <laughs> so I had a fee for one point and it got, it got nicked. Road toll. Oh, I'm staying actually. Yeah, we're gonna get our asses kicked by this. <laughs> I mean, I tried. <laughs> Wait, where's my wife? Oh, she's over here. Okay, she's okay. That's the rest of our companions all taken together. And his folk is now been taken out. This may be the end of the SRI. All right, they've taken Razir. See what we could do about that. What if they took like my main base down here? No matter how big I get, I still have to pay off this lot. Uh, and then I said, oh, well, this is all of your mothers, the people that, that haven't subscribed. And, and, uh, and I think they did. You guys are really great listeners. No offense, buddy, but you're like a different race to the rest. Of you know what? I'm not going to get into it. Just, um, enjoy the day. Well, there we go. We'll grab ourselves a decent thief, mainly because we're a nice guy. So that's ours now. We, we owned this. Pacifism, lads. Pacifism. Let's add 10,000 denars into this. Adds 50 construction. Ah, even though we're a lord, we still have to do this. Oh, look, it's the road of the hills. Did they take that Hassan Folk? Because, I mean, we're actually in a good place if he manages that. All right, Hassan Folk's been taken. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one. going to abstain, save our influence. Oh, another 15k is gone. Oh, and rebels. Do you mind giving me back my, uh, do you mind giving me back my workshop? That'd be great. But I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. I think that would prove the point. We've got our own thief. We've not fought a single battle. We were taken prisoner once because of our refusal. Had to contend with uh, paying off a ransom every single time. We've got about 50k in the bank, but we have assets that are quite useful. Wait, that means I've hired troops technically. Oh, I failed. That's not pacifist. I've got troops. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Well, I, I guess eight hours of my life later, <laughs> the challenge failed. Oh, no. Anyway, if you did enjoy, uh, then please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. If you have any other ideas for Banlord runs um, that you might want to see, then I'd be happy to give them a shot. I kind of want to see British Cyprus as its own kingdom and do a full-on uh, multi-part campaign trying to secure our own se separate area of uh, Calradia because there's been a lot of work done since I last played in terms of managing towns and generally in terms of the kingdoms. You've got lots of different policies and stuff, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to... Uh, see how far the game has plumbed since I last played it. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there, just, just click.